Right now we're going to get to a really cool story. Right now students are of all ages are heading back to school in Guilford County. Middle schoolers gathered for open house while younger kids have theirs tomorrow. And lots of college students are already back in class like at North Carolina A&T. During move in last week, excited students and supportive families gathered on campus showing off their Aggie pride. But for one North Carolina family, it runs deeper than that. WFNY News 2's Jalen Gilkey caught up with an A&T family that's four generations long. From the very first time you step on the campus of North Carolina A&T, you can feel the sense of community and undeniable school pride. But today I met one North Carolina A&T family that takes Aggie pride to a whole new level. We've had, uh, I think we counted up this past weekend, 32 members of our family have attended a and And uh, I believe we have had 26 graduate with two currently enrolled students. So for me, a and truly does mean family. For this family of Aggies, North Carolina a and State University is much more than a place to get an education. In your opinion, what does a and mean to you and your family? For all of us, I think it may, means a uh, home, family, good times, and connections. When we get together, of course, we always shout Aggie pride, and we always talk about how many Aggies we have. We all tend to go to homecoming as often as we can. It's the family that I was born into, where we've had so many attend the university, and it also means the family that I chose while I was at the university. So I've made some lifelong connections, friends, and people that I consider my chosen family at a and I grew up in California and actually currently reside in California. So I didn't actually see family on a regular basis. I'm my only child, grew up with just my parents. And going to a and or selecting a and was really a homecoming of sorts to really know my own like actual familiar roots. And with three generations having already completed their journey through Aggieland, the fourth is prepared to carve out their own legacy on campus. Far a and has meant education and pride that my family could be educated at the number one HBCU. So I'm just excited for this school year. And although each generation's experiences may be different, one thing will always remain the same. So one, two, three. And, and, right. and just, just in case you don't think you heard me correctly, there are 32 Aggies and counting in this family, which wow. has to be some type of record, right? That is awesome. So. It's such a great story. I, that, that is, so my father went to Carolina and I did, and of my four kids, now the twins, but it's totally different. Mm -hmm. I only have two more shots left. There you I, go. I'm putting pressure on Tyler and Drew, one of you. Please. I was go. wondering how that would be, you know, if there's if there's some pressure that you put on the kids. I mean, I'm, I'm a first generation college student, so I didn't have any influence <laughs> from parents or anybody. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, how do you how do you go about that? Well, and uh, so I told them, you know, it depends on what you're majoring in. You know, there are some schools that are better at mm -hmm. one thing. That's why my kids, one went to Savannah, one went to Tennessee, because mm -hmm. their, their particular majors, they needed to go there. And I'm okay with that, but it would be nice. You know. What I think is cool about this is it's just like a big reunion for everyone. You think about football games, you think about homecoming, you think about move-in day like this. It's just something that they can always come together and celebrate as a family. Yeah, and so Jiho happens to fall on several members of the family's birthday around oh. that time every year. So every Sunday at the end of Jiho, they all go do brunch together, celebrate each other's birthdays, and just love on each other. So it's just, this is amazing. When I heard this story, I was like, I gotta jump on this. Yeah, I gotta get that. I have to. I love how y'all did the the chant at the end. Yeah, Aggie Pride, awesome. yeah, that's awesome. It's <laughs> loud and proud, baby. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I know you're a sports guy like me, and, and so I grew up in my family, we would all watch the Carolina games together, and I can imagine that family, they're all yes. over that. You know? Absolutely, absolutely. I love that. And there's nothing better than, you know, homecoming, football, central game, yep. getting out there, just being amongst the fellow Aggies, and in their case, their family as well. So it's just best of both worlds. And to see the little ones that had the pom-poms yeah, in the pictures, they're right. probably like, I'm gonna be an Aggie. Well, right. She's a freshman this yeah. year. Mm -hmm. So that's why she's keeping it rolling. <laughs> Jalen, awesome. I used to try to sneak into the alumni concert whenever I got a chance Good luck, to. brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had I had contacts. They got me You in. are the man. They got you me are here. You know everybody. I, I, wanted to see, I wanted to see them. Well, that was my music. That's why I can't go to the new stuff.